Hello everybody, this is the old man King Soyboy, and today I'm here to talk to you about Renekton, the Butcher of the Sands. Renekton is a 80 bruiser top lane. He's really strong, he has a lot of sustain and great escape and gap closing skills. Um, I'll demonstrate how to play Renekton early on in lane, how to harass, I'll go over runes and masteries and stuff like that. So let's get right down to it. For Renekton, I like to take Health Regeneration Quintessences, Magic Resist Blues, Armor Yellows, and Attack Damage Reds. Uh, these runes allow you to be really tanky in lane, got some good damage, and sustain with the Quints on top of Renekton's natural healing. For Masteries, I like to do more of an offensive Renekton setup. I like 21 into the offense tree and 9 into the defense tree. A lot of Renektons I see like to go 9 offense and 21 defense every now and then just because they want to be even more tanky and they like to go for an off tank build which means they have a little bit of damage and somewhat tanky. I like to be a lot of damage and a little bit tanky and so I could just be a big threat. And it's a lot more fun to be honest. And today I was advised that my skills, the skills for champion I really don't need to go over that much. Mainly because if you're watching a guide on how to play the hero, you probably already have a gist of what his skills can be, skills are, and what they do. So I'll be talking like uh, you've already know what his skills do, and I'll be going on from there. I'll be using low replay today just to try shoring up and make a little bit good. For the load screen, remember always ascertain who you're versing top lane, who their jungle is, so you know what to be careful for. Uh, I'll be versing Rumble, which he's generally weaker than Renekton at the start, and then outscales him later if he's fr if he has if he's able to farm for free, pretty much. But as Renekton, you generally don't allow that. You take advantage of how strong you are early on compared to Rumble, who scales a little bit more with levels than actual abilities. Um, their jungle is Darius, you should be, make note of that too, and know how they'll gank you and how early they'll gank you. Darius can gank at level 2, except it's not likely. He has no gap closing skills, no hard CC. His only source for a gank to stop you would be his pull, which is extremely I short range. Two ways. Um, now we're into the game. Uh, I want to start with the uh, usual top lane items right now, which would be a red pot, a fort pot, a couple of potions, and and a ward just to keep myself safe. I'm gonna fast forward right now, a little bit because nothing goes on in the early levels. I see that they are actually coming in for a gank, and just for a level one fight invade since the jungle is fiddlesticks. I'm in top lane, really not doing anything, so hope everything goes well. They see they see Zillion go out, so they they know they're on the move. No real protection, they have no idea. All five of them there. They go in and unfortunately my team dies. Um, just wanna commentate about this. Very important part is that rumble flash. You want flash and ignited. He has no summoners for top lane. So I'm gonna push up this lane as fast as possible. Let Rumble miss a couple CS on his way back up there. And that's what all I'm going to do. Level 2 early. Rumble's still level 1 because I know he's back there. And here we go. Uh, Rumble's really not that much stronger than I am because he didn't get a kill. He only got an assist. So I'm still pretty powerful. Um, right now I'm just trying to be really aggressive with what I'm doing. Just want to take them down a bit. Uh, harass all I can and ward so I know I can't be ganked. Right here, I know his summoners are down, so I go in really aggressive and try to get the kill with my ignite. If I felt like I needed more damage or HP, I would have simply activated my red pot and been okay. Speed up a bit. And right now I don't really want to go back because my Q heals me and this is a lot of free farm I can get. All good stuff. Darius comes to cover, try not to get pulled, just keep farming and healing yourself up. Now Rumble's back in the lane. 
Um, I want to continue harassing him because I have a clear advantage. I just killed him. I didn't waste my, my red potion, which means if he engages on me, I can still activate that and get a lot of AD and a lot of HP back in one momentum. So, I'm gonna just keep this going, try to deny him, harass him if he comes in. Right there doing a stun, really good damage. Right here, I know he's low, I really, really want to tower dive him. And I still have my red pot, so which means the tower is gonna do a lot of damage to me. Like I said, I can heal up. So here we go. Always have full rage when you tower dive. The rage lets you do a lot more damage on your skills. Simply stun, dash, activate my ulti, because I did hit level 6 before him, and red potion. In total, I'd gain around 400 HP for free. That can tank about two tower shots, which allowed me to survive. And that's generally what you do. You want to just harass, tower dive if need be, use all your clear advantages, never give your opponent a break. Speed up, get back to land. And continue to press my lead. I now have a black cleaver while Rumble has nothing but a health push. Uh, Ruby Crystal, harass, harass, really not care what he's doing. I see Master Yi come top lane to harass me, except Master Yi is really paper. I activate my ulti, stun him, and pretty much destroy him. Flash, ignite, just to know where he is to kill him, and that's about it. Uh, my Fiddlesticks comes up, he wants to try to gank this. Uh, we know there's a ward in that bush, because... Uh, Fiddlesticks randomly auto attacks when they have no. when he's in a bush and they don't know, it's just a clear giveaway. So, late time comes by. Fiddlesticks once again tries to take their blue and stuff like that. Grass. I continue to fight Rumble, no big deal. And here comes Fiddlesticks again. Maybe it's okay for us to go in. And as you see right here, he just starts auto attacking. So we know the bush is warded still, and he's gonna back off. He's gonna walk all the way around. He wants to ulti, and we're gonna go in for an easy kill here. Unfortunately, Darius is here, which catches him off guard, so we decide to rush it. We end up with a double kill, which leads us on top. Unfortunately, Yi shows up and picks up the kill. So, it's no. So, yeah, that's what happens there. Um, generally in lane, when pretty early on, you just want to harass, fight. If you know they're weak, tower dive them and build up a lead. At this point, I'm really strong. I'm 5-1. I have a BF sword and a brutalizer. Uh, Rumble really can't afford to fight me anymore because of how strong I am. He's also two levels under me, so... Right here, you want to activate full on aggression mode. Give no fucks about what the what he wants to do or his jungle. Well, you should have a ward protected from the jungle, but yeah, that's about it. And now we'll be moving forward. I try to tower dive him, unfortunately, it doesn't work out. So I go in and try again. I'm gonna go in soon. And I'm gonna try again. Just because I know he's low, I know I'm stronger. Unfortunately, he flashes away, and whatever you do, do not go back into the kill, because you have no more minions there, you have no idea where the jungler is. And if it feels like this and I went back in, I would have died for free. Um, you don't want to do that, you don't want to give kills away, and anything of that nature. Um, moving on, just farm, farm, I'm gonna take the power, press up my lead and clear advantage. Gonna go move in middle just to help out my team a bit as Renekton. Got my stun to help CC, but if never chase the Master E if he gets away, it's just not worth it. So I'm gonna go back, farm, 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 farm. Uh, that's what you really wanna do is top lane. If you know you're stronger than them, you wanna make plays. For instance, we know Rumble's in a bad position. So I let my team know, we catch him off guard, and we get another easy kill. So continue pressing your advantage as you're going. So once again, farm up, get stronger, because you want to be a big threat later on, since you're really not tanky. 
It's going to slowly move back up. And right here, the we're pushing up and Darius feels like he has the need to walk past the both of us. Which is really stupid because Renekton has a long lasting stun, Fiddlesticks has a long lasting fear, and we both do a lot of damage. I already have my Bloodthirster and a Brutalizer while Rumble has two Amp Tomes, a Doran Shield, and a Ruby Crystal. Moving up, we decide to tower dive the Rumble because we know he's weak already and we want to pressure him even more. Fiddlesticks comes over with the ulti, lots of damage. We take out Rumble easily and then we move on to Master Yi. Both still tanking tower, it's dangerous. My Fiddlesticks is low, but unfortunately he gets shot one more time and he dies to tower. So really no problem whatsoever. Let's see. Now what we do here is actually really funny. If you wanna really if you can make plays like this, do it. What happens is me and the Zillion actually be real jerks and we just wait in the bush. We just wait. Real patient, wait, wait a little bit for Darius to walk in the bush, face check, and he pretty much dies instantly. Real funny stuff. So now nothing really happening. Let's move up the video again. Going back top lane to farm. Just want to see Rumble by himself. Go up, farm, farm, farm. Push up all the way. Because I know there's really no threat because my team's fighting on the other side. Right here, actually, I make a really bad mistake. I got greedy and I pretty much tried the 1v2 Rumble and Darius hoping I could get the kill. Fortunately, he flashes away and I just get ulted and die for free. Never give away free gold like that. It's not worth it. Just gonna keep going here while I'm dead. Team doing their stuff. I spawn all the way back up to top lane I go. Now right here, I'm just waiting in the bush, hoping someone will walk by like we did on Darius. Nothing really happens. Now I know I'm pushed all the way up, I've got no vision yet. I'm doing being a little greedy, having some fun. Fiddlesticks ults over the health. <laughs> really funny how he does it. <laughs> and we both die. So, again, try not to be greedy. At this point, I'm extremely farmed up. I have my Bloodthirster, I have my Black Cleaver, and I have my Giant's Belt. The Giant's Belt helps me be tanky, and the Bloodthirster allows all my skills to increase damage, and the Cleaver is generally to reduce armor. The reason I like getting Black Cleaver is not only because I'm full AD Renekton, but my stun actually hits two times starting and three times if I have rage. So I'll go up to max stats and do maximum armor pen really quickly, really efficiently. I don't have to wait for the stack charges to go up and stuff of that nature. Alright, we're gonna continue. I what I'm doing here is what I said never to do. I'm chasing a Yi, hoping I can catch up. It's a no-go, I see his team, so yeah. And right now, we're debating whether it's a team fight or not. Because I see my support is weak. I'm not weak, he's low HP, and we got initiated on. Do a bit of damage, and Zillion moves me forward, speed boost. Because uh, of the speed boost, I jump into the entire team, doing as much damage as I possibly can. I'm not as scared to die, because my ulti plus giant spell gives me a lot of HP. And my Zillion can revive me, if need be. As you can see by my full AD Renekton, I do a lot of damage. It's best shown right here when Bane comes to kill my teammate. One stun, instantly half HP. My Q kills and I end up with a quadra kill. Almost instantly killed Bane with that stun, which like I said, a lot of damage. That's why I like AD Renekton full on. And like I said, it's a lot of fun to play. Just gonna keep going. Just gonna take the buffs, clear the jungles. Like I said, farm, 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 always get strong. At this point, I'm 
an unstoppable monster and I am simply going to do as I please. I'm going to walk straight forward into the enemy team. Now right there, as you saw, I dashed over the wall with my first dash, hit the minions, and I did a second dash to catch Master Yi. Your dash can go over some walls, not all walls, and not really thick walls. That's probably like the maximum thickness you can go through. So yeah, like I said, unstoppable monster. Simply gonna do as I please. Lots of damage, lots of free kills. I'm pretty fed at this point. And as you can see, I'm just running in and out of tower aggro relentlessly, just trying to hit someone for the lulls. Fun. Just gonna push up, have a little bit more fun, and I'm gonna walk away. Uh, they want to initiate on my team, but I simply walk around and do lots of damage. I die instantly though, but whatever. My team cleans up. Do they clean up? No, I don't believe they clean up. Oh, nope. Yep, Tarek to the rescue. So, I'm dead. I'm just waiting for wave 5. I know my team's stronger. Team gets caught. Do, do, do. Really long death timer. At this point, well, not, well, yeah, actually at this point, uh, we're pretty much extremely powerful. There's nothing they can do to us. We can't, we pinch Vayne, easy kills, and we go up for the Barons. Now, my team has Fiddlesticks, which means he can self-sustain forever. So they don't need me to do this. I just want to use my strength to act as a protector, because my team's generally squishy. I catch Master Yi, he comes in by himself, well his team is there, but he's made a paper. He dies, I'm just running interference right now for my teammates so they can get the Baron. As soon as they do, I know I'm in danger, so I'm simply going to flash over a wall. And my team's running in. We're going to circle around and catch everyone else, such as Darius. From there, we're going to move on to the... Frickin' forgot her name. Zyra? Except we don't catch her, she gets away. And yeah, we're absurdly strong now. We have Baron, clear advantage. We're just gonna abuse them at their tower and kill them. There's really nothing about it. It's just a run over. And we're just gonna do whatever. I almost died, so it revives me, and we're just gonna abuse. It's just plain and simple. And that's a full game commentary on how to play Renekton. And so yeah, when you go play Renekton, the, you always want to start off with boot your potions like I said. This is just a recap. Uh, first item, Brutalizer, makes you strong. Then you want to move up for your Bloodthirster for extreme damages. After that, if you feel like need be tanky, go ahead and buy Giant's Belt or anything else that you see need fit. And Last Whisper, so you're doing pretty much true damage. Just a little bit of lulls after the game's over. One stun Bane and she dies. And that's that's all. I try to recall right now, because I want to spend my money before the game's over. It's just how I am. I have 4,000 gold. Was planning to buy my Infinity Edge for lulls, but half second short. Now, a brief champion, re a, be a brief recap of the beginning of the game. To your starting skills, you should always get your Q first. I know I shouldn't be talking about this now, I should be talking about this a little early on, but a lot of things to talk about. Just to recap, first skill, max your Q. The max your E skill, just to shorten the cooldown. Stun, you don't need to level up early. It's just there if you need it. Level 1's fine, stun duration doesn't increase, just mediocre damage. Um, for matchups, always be careful. Always ward your lane, and be wary of what you can fight and what you can't fight. Don't do 1v2s like I did if you know you can't win. If you're just going in for the fun little kills. Do, 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 do. And I think that's about it. 
if there's a certain champion you want to see me play, simply leave a comment or send me a message over YouTube. I will read all messages, I will read all comments. I have more videos to release. And thanks for watching. Um, if you have any other questions, like I said, feel free to message me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. My next video will most likely be on Talon or Ziggs. I just have to write commentaries for them. And yeah, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to watch more videos. And 